staying at home, we are doing the flat and the curve. Uh, and not overwhelm our healthcare system. It is an act of solidarity. Welcome to the project Behind the White Coat. I am Rotraktar Mindri Marasena, International Service Director of Rotra Club of Badulla from Rotra District 3220. Uh, our guest for the project Behind the White Coat today is Dr. Pradeepa Lianagi. She is uh, at, she is attached to the District General Hospital in Mandalay. Currently, she is working as a medical officer, OPD, and practice as a family physician uh, in her own. Uh, welcome to the project behind the white coat, Dr. Deepa. Uh, it will uh, be a pleasure to have you here today. So, first of all, our viewers know how many active COVID-19 cases were reported in uh, Mandalay uh, District Hospital. Actually, in the Martel area, there were six active cases. Uh, all were uh, male persons and their relatives. Uh, there was no any community spread. So they detected early and they separated them. Uh, after that, uh, all the, uh, there, there were no active cases after that. As you say, there were no community spread. What was the main reason behind that? Actually, our control system is so good. The community community surveillance is so good. That's why we had uh, we, we could control that one. So uh, now every country is uh, going back to normal situation. So I, what's your opinion about uh, back to normal? Is it uh, safe to back to normal, or we still need to be in both curfews? I think we won't be able to put curfew again, but we have to be very vigilant on our. Uh, healthcare system and the, 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 the uh, we have to be in the behind the whether there will be any cases. That's only surveillance. So uh, as this, uh, there we have to be bear all these things for another one year or one and a half year. Maybe for the depend on the situation. I think maybe shorter than that. That's great. It's a great news, guys. So. Um, as a frontliner in the COVID-19 battle, how uh, how many hours did you work? Usually more than six hours, but it's a, it, it became for us because uh, we are in personal equipment and doing the duties is a bit troublesome, but maybe how we manage the situation. So uh, did you have double shifts per day sometimes? In the, in, in, if some doctor is on leave or is sick, then we have to do the double shifts. Okay. So, um, so COVID-19 pandemic, was very new for everyone. So, what as a doctor is it is new for you too, right? So, uh, what was uh, tell tell us our viewers what uh, the warmest situation uh, during the pandemic? Actually, uh, when it comes to an emergency situation, it's a bit challenging. I'm in the front line. Yeah. If emergency patient comes, we don't have much time to take the good history. So, we have to prepare for the management. That's the challenging thing. Sometimes with the severe impatient, we have to be with the patient and uh, we have to be negative with our protection part. That's happened to every doctor. Okay, so uh, people think that COVID-19 pandemic situation is full of negativity and chaos. As a doctor who in the front, front line of the battle, uh, how the, uh, what, the one thing that keeps your mental health up Actually, I'm always behind the patient. I'm very satisfied with the, my treatment and the patient recovers well. That is the only satisfaction behind me. So, uh, in the last couple of months, the uh, Sri Lanka is in the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic and media plays a much role in uh, public awareness. So, as a doctor, has it uh, created more panic or has it helpful to you? It's really helpful because people are so aware then you can manage them easily. Otherwise, you have to educate them and manage where the uh, media uh, educated them and we have to manage on them. So, it means media has a good uh, influence of awareness of people. That's right. So, uh, thank you very much, Dr. Pradeepa, for being here with us to celebrate the International Doctors' Day on 1st of July uh, in India. So, it is a joint project uh, with uh, Rotrack District 3131 uh, and we are mainly doing this to thank our physicians and doctors for their dedicated service to the patients in the COVID-19 pandemic.
Thank you.